Well, hello everyone and welcome to today's episode of The Grind. First of all, I just have to say thank you to all of those who have subscribed and viewed our first six episodes. Your comments and your encouragement have been just outstanding and it's just really fun to be part of such an awesome community. I have so many things to add to my to-do list, many of which come from your great comments. Um, some of which, some of the more boring ones I've started on, um, I added a programmable block so that I could put um, ICs, ICs, however you say that, I-S-Y apostrophe S inventory script. And I set it to run out here. Something funky is happening. Um, it's not really sorting the way I want it to. And I've been messing around with different um, labels and titles and looking at the guide. Um, I've used this script many times, but for some reason it's being funny. So I'll, I'll take a look at that and see if it's just maybe something with an update or something, but it's definitely sorting weird. But I'll fix that. So what I'm going to do today, let's go over to our handy to-do list. Um, I've, I've ground down a little bit more of the outpost. We're going to build an actual first battle drone. We already actually built one and we did build a control station. <laughs> Who knows if we took down a ship? That's problematic. But let's go ahead and move you to done. What I'm going to do today... All right, I have a lot to add here, of which only a few bits will be done in this episode. We're going to build a drone printer and then build our first battle drone. I do want to add, add a rotor and hinge to the radio antenna. We'll do that later. We're gonna do a couple of things um, on the drone. I'll probably try some improvements, just some redundancies, add another antenna, add another camera, that kind of thing. Um, and I think I've chosen a name for the drone. I'll reveal that once I've built it. I'm gonna uh, turn up the lights. I'll do that a little bit later. For today, we'll go with those. And before I do that, actually, this is gonna be a little bit tedious, so we'll do some time lapse. We're gonna weld down, let's just call it the hanger. Oops, I can't spell. A nudger hanger. And that's out here in the front. This weather has been nasty for a long time. I hope it eventually changes. But so yeah, all this out here, this is where I'm gonna build the printer. So I need to make some space for it and I want the floor to be welded down when I do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and weld this down. Hopefully because of the weather, I can get a good time-lapse angle. Fingers crossed, but I will see you on the other side of getting this all welded down. And I want good access to this cargo container, so I'm going to just redo these stairs and just put a regular set of stairs right there. These will be easier to get up and down anyway. Yellow for the stairs. So what we're going to do after those modifications, my word, this weather, this weather is making things tricky. Maybe what that can inspire me to do is at least put up a few construction lights or something onto the area where I'm going to be building my printer. This does need some lighting anyway, doesn't it? All right. You know what? Let's put that on the to-do list. This is where Mad Mavin is just so good at lighting. So let's go ahead and mark welding down the hanger is done. All right, there we go. And hanger lighting. I don't think I want to do anything too terribly permanent. I just realized turning away from there, I'm pretty sure I spelled rotor wrong. Anyway, um, lots of lights here I'd never used before. What angle can I get from these? Ooh, those are huge. Could get a fun angle from those. And then I got these small floodlights. Projector spotlight. And then a clean spotlight. Alright, there's those. And then 
These are ones that I'm curious about. How do these... What light do I get from this guy? Maybe just a little bit more? What if I do it at 50? And then what if I do one more of those right there? Dark. It's not elegant in any way, <laughs> and it needs some neon and some deco, but that'll at least let me see what I'm building, I think. Okay, lights look good, and I just realized when I stepped away for a second, when I was working on my time lapse of, of grinding down that outpost that I'm still working on that on one of my trips out I almost didn't notice it when I passed by you can't really see it because of the weather there was a wreck on the on the ground over here um, must either it got shot down or it just fell or something but I haven't gone and investigated yet and I forgot that that was one of the first things I wanted to do in this actual episode was go investigate so let's first see if I can find it again it's not very far and see if there's anything good on that wreck. That was kind of the whole point of this, so let's see. I'm realizing that I'll probably have to do a decent amount of sort of horizontal drilling, and I'm not sure that my thruster positioning is right for that, so we're gonna maybe find that out here as we investigate this wreck. Let's see if I can find it. Again, it was really close. Oh, I've probably gone too far. Oh, there it is. Okay, there it is. So one of the reasons I put the connector on the bottom, before, besides it being easiest to uh, dock because of that, was also if I did find something like this that had loose, you know, just loose resources floating around, I could hop out, grab them, and just stick them up in the con connector. Oh, let's find a nice place where we can get a good view of everything. Ooh, okay. What do we got here? Oop. <laughs> Oh, we've got something I can bump into. Oh, I'm bumping into the ground. That's ah, stupid. All right, well, let's level out and explore a little bit. Okay. Our first wreck, right? Isn't that what this is? Okay, what do we got here? Uranium. Hydrogen bottle. Good. Uranium opens up some opportunities for us. That's what I was hoping to be able to find in some of these wrecks. Uh, what else? What else? <gasps> Oh, just a second, just a second, just a second. Yes! 10k ice! Oh, that's good news. Oh, what is that? Silver, uranium, uranium, oxygen, uranium. Oh, this is awesome. Yes! Let's move you over closer to where those all are. Oh, that's... Oh, jeez. Me and my piloting. Already seen me get in trouble several times. All right, here we go. I promise I don't drive that way. I did grow up in Germany, so I drive fast on the Autobahn. All right. Oh, this is cool. Ah, proof of concept. Ooh, there's a lot of reactors. Hopefully that'll mean a decent amount of uranium when we're done here. All right. Grabbing all this ice is going to take a little bit. That's okay. It's worth it. I need to make a better gr hand grinder. Also a design flaw I really need to address on the Phoenix is the fact that the cockpit doesn't connect to everything else. Gotta fix that later. Ah, 10k ice. This is awesome. Now let's get, let's see what's our weight. We can do some grinding. Good news about this is it's close by. 
All right. To the grind. This one question is, do I have the materials now to build a nice grinder? Let's see, what do I need? Nickel, cobalt, I don't think I have any platinum. Do I have any platinum? I do. Well, if there's one thing we need on the grind, it's an elite grinder. That's for sure. That probably means we also have the materials to build an elite welder. Let's do both of those. Sweet. All right, one more run. We may come back offline and get a little bit more, but that'll be good for now. So let's dump off these materials and then we can get to building our printer. Oh, that makes me happy though, to see ships crashing nearby that I'm able to grind down for some really good resources that'll be harder to find otherwise. When the resources come to me, I win. Okay, now let's, ooh, concept here. So for this printer, I don't know if I'm saying is I, I I looked at several tutorials. The basic design I think I like the most is one that I saw on a video by uh, Tallman Brad. I hope I'm saying that right. And um, actually, I'll link to it. Uh, I really like it's the simplicity of the design, and I'm I want to find some ways to automate the process here. But what I'm gonna do is build out the printer from here, and then. I think I want to make it so that it's all functional from my um, command seat in the command center. But let's see how this works. I think that'll be enough. And then we're going to put the projector on the end of that. This building is clunky and that's got to be the sorter. I must have done something wrong with that sorter, because it is not... I love that script. I messed with it a little bit, but then reset it all to its defaults. And I don't know with my initial messing around with it if I messed it up, but it is not running smooth. Now we're going to build a couple of pistons. I'm doing this from memory, so I hope I'm doing this right. We're gonna put a couple of those in the build planner, and then I need a couple of hinges, and I need a welder in the build planner. I am grateful for, again, Tallman, however you say his name, Tallman Brad, for finally teaching me how to do these hinges, and that this little, that little white slit there, points basically to the negative side. I've been trying to figure out hinges forever and never even noticed that slit. So little tip if you didn't already know that, that little white slit points to the negative side. All right, so let's get that all welded up. Now this printer design Ooh, I'm already seeing some issues here. This is we're going off of my memory. It's probably not going to help. You know what? I'm remembering something. There should be another conveyor coming out from there. I probably don't need... In his design, he has the two pistons. I probably don't need two pistons. I'm going to change it up a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to change it up a little bit. Not a geometrist. Don't know what a geometrist is. Um, I guess all we can do is really test it, I suppose. Oh, and I just realized the other thing that tall man Brad taught me is finally how to do the projector. And I ignored it when I installed this projector. So as I learned, the cross part goes on top and the line part that comes out is the front. Like the line that goes across the front of it vertically from top to bottom. So if I get the cross right there, oop, I missed it. 
cross on top, where it comes in from all angles, and then the line from top to bottom in the front. That should be, yeah, this cross here, top, this line here, if you notice the other ones are empty, this line, and maybe all of you already get this, but this line here is the front. So, I'm just going to try one go at this. Let's put in the printer projector. Let's grab battle drone. Let's see where that's sitting. So we're going to want that to come out. Oh, forward. Let's try three. Oh, is this where I'm going to regret not having two pistons? No, it's not very far out forward. This is going to be fine, right? It's going to be fine. Let's connect you to the print. Okay. All of you, I apologize if you have experience with this. This is my first printer. <laughs> okay. Oh, and I need to put all the things from the projector into... Make sure it's all working. I'm just gonna let it print all the parts first. While I'm waiting for that, I don't need these cool vents, heat vents, because it's not a ship anymore. And then what I'm thinking about doing, and I could attach a light to this, is we're gonna build out from here. So what I'm gonna do is I wanna put, if the angle's right, and actually the place to put this is, maybe I'll make a little entryway right here. And then I wanna put a camera right there. So when I'm sitting in my command seat, I can look over here and I can actually set up a console line just for this printer and see what's going on. And as long as I'm doing that, let's stick a light on top of that so I can actually see this better too. It could just be a standard spotlight, but that's kind of boring. Still, that might be the best option. I can still try one of these new ones if I want. So maybe not that one, but maybe... Like, I don't know what that does. Actually, let's take a look at this. I don't know how this spotlight even looks. Ooh, okay. 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 I really dig that. That's exactly what I need. I might mess around with some of the settings on that later, but I can see what's being printed. So to test this camera position here, let's, okay. Actually, we'll do it all from in here and see if it works. Camera. Wait. Did I put it upside down? Yeah, I'm a dummy. Well, we fixed it. All right, well, I probably did that all wrong, but oh well. So, we want to put the piston, the printer pistons controls here, where we extend and we reverse. Let's test those controls. Neat. Just don't know if that's going to reach everything. There's aspects of this design I don't know if I like. We're just going to have to check. It's not Tallman's fault. It's just the way I did it that I don't know if I like. You know what? And I just realized I didn't give myself a way to stop <laughs> the piston. So let's do that too. Piston. And then toggle. I think I want to just aim that hinge more for the center. Yeah, maybe 90. Let's try that. I think that'll aim more for the middle. This should probably work, actually. All right, turn you on. I think that reaches. I always underestimate how far these printer heads can reach. So right about there might work. Okay, and then we need to put the welder, printer welder, 
Let's just put you right there, on and off. Okay, I think, I think it's worth a try now. Whoa, something just blew up nearby. We got two pieces that didn't get printed. Actually, no, four. Some conveyor too. Man, there's lots of stuff in here that didn't print. Oh, because it wasn't in the... I had used it up when I built the camera and stuff. That's my own stupid fault. Ugh. So the design itself is probably fine. I just didn't have all the components up there anymore. Dang it! Let's turn the welder on. Okay, that's good news, actually. It's finding all the stuff that didn't get printed. I think we're done. I think it's done. Hallelujah. So here's where we try this whole thing. We've got... Let's check the camera. I think it's all there. Turn that off. Give some space. That's good. So now what I'm thinking... We'll test this baby out. Go dock it. And then we'll take you on another test run. Well, we know you can fly. And... Remote access. Which one's... The production's still there. All right, so we're gonna land you. We did not give ourselves a lot of space to land. So this is where, if we're gonna put the printer here, having the dock up there really makes no sense. I'm actually gonna fix that right now. What might be nice is just to be able to like scooch off to the right and then dock there. Accessibility is an issue here, isn't it? But yes, let's fix that. I'm gonna put a nice little docking bay right there. So we're gonna grab pipes. Am I out of iron? No way, no way. Oh my gosh, I am. That's crazy that I had just enough to do what I did. Oh my gosh, that's nuts. Okay, well then I'm, I do need to go ahead and dock that ship. Dock, I mean my drone, excuse me. And then I've gotta get some. Some, some iron. So for now, we'll put you in the stupid spot. Huh, I got some work to do here. There you go. And you're gonna charge for me. And now you have, good. All right, so at least the drone is getting fixed up. Let's go ahead and do a grinding run to the outpost. There's still a lot of stuff left there. Get filled up on some iron and uh, pick up where we left off. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, gee whiz, that was close. Oh, we lost some parts and pieces. What did we lose? Dang it. Ugh. Maybe it wasn't too bad. Okay. This guy's kind of looking cool, this base. I got a lot of work to do on it to, like, clean it up. But in terms of its functionality and how things are looking... Oh dear! 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 Oh no! Oh dear! Oh boy! Oh wow! Oh wow! Oh boy! Oh that! Oh, are you kidding me? The second I go, hey, 
This place is looking really great. Are you kidding me? Goodbye, drone. Goodbye, power. Phoenix got blown off of its... Can it fly? Nope. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh, you know, I had a thought before I started the day, like, you know, defense is... No one's really attacked me yet, so maybe defenses aren't that big of a deal. So I'll pause and do those next time after I test a drone. Guess what we just learned? Holy crap. Oh. Well, <laughs> the whole point of today, blown up moments later. And the phoenix on its back. I guess we're going to rebuild a printer and see how quickly it can print a phoenix. Oh, that is what we call disheartening. You know what I'm going to do, though, before we're done? Oh, I'm going to see if I can at least disable that thing, because we're going to need every last part. I'm, I'm, I'm grateful to be alive, and I'm sure that thing is still armed. So we're going to heal up. I'm going to take my little machine gun. Oh, dear. Oh, my word. Oh, Oh, here we go. You were you were the ship that I had identified that I was going to go after with my drone as soon as I got back. Let's see any weapons? Oh my word. Okay, here we go. Might be the best thing to do. I got an elite grinder. If I can fly over there and just grind stuff down and mobilize this thing. Here we go. Nothing shooting at me. Inventory full. Inventory full. I don't even care about my inventory right now. Are there any guns? Dare start moving. Inventory full. Inventory full. Sure it is. I need to. Inventory full. Inventory nope. Nope. Full. Missiles are done. The front ones, anyway. Are there any other? Oh, I know. Everything's full. Don't worry. We'll come back for that later. Inventory full. Inventory full. Jeez. Inventory full. Inventory full. most important things to take out to disable a thing. Inventory full. Jeez. Alright, well I don't see any other weapons on this thing. Could be wrong. Have been before. Well, I tell you what, that is definitely all we're doing on this episode today. Bad news is, just look at that base. Oh my goodness. Just want to assess the damage a little bit here. Solar panels completely fallen over. Good news is, 
two of my three um, wind turbines are moving. Phoenix is down. Drone is down. My one defense is gone. Printer is gone. I even thought about covering that thing up so that couldn't happen. Though I'm not sure I could have enough anyway. Let's actually go look at the damage control board here. Okay, that's not working right. I guess the rest of the things that are damaged were disconnected, so it's not reading those anymore. Or blown off completely. Goodness gracious. Good news is I have 16 hours of charge time. Well, let's see. <laughs> so, the to-do list for next time is definitely going to be repair the base. So the good news is, every time something gets blown up, there is the opportunity for rebirth and to learn. And if there's one thing I've learned, is those icon whatever, icor whatevers, really hate me. But the good news is, I've got two crash ships now right next to my base. I've actually, because of those ships, have some of the materials I need to have better weapons. So I'm going to spend the next episode defending, and then we'll build a drone and hopefully take the attack to them. This makes me wonder if this drone is even powerful enough. But you know what? We're going to figure that out. We're going to figure all of that out. Wow. I was just thinking as I was nearing the end of this episode, I was like, okay, I need something to happen. I need, I need to like, again, go out there and, and, and do some combat and add some excitement to this episode. And it just came right to us. Thank you for joining me today on the grind. We have a lot of work to do next episode, don't we? Again, just a special thanks to all of those for your comments. I hope you have some more for me today. Um, thanks for all of those who have subscribed. I invite you to do both of those. Hit that like button, subscribe, comment. Um, as I'm rebuilding this base from its destroyed heap. Oh, look at that whole side over there gone. Is there anything that I should do to improve? I've got some good ideas for defenses. I'll talk through those next time in terms of trying to keep some ships away at a distance and targeting their missiles with railguns and such. But either way, thanks for joining me on the grind, and I'll see you next time. Into the black hole.